Hello everyone, my name is Adam Repos Vox. Welcome back. I'm trying not to run over my kitty who's laying behind my chair. Welcome back to another Ubuntu 16.04 tips video. Link in the play playlist link. I'm tired of saying this already. In the description below, YouTube card icon. More Ubuntu videos. Go check them out. I'm just go check them out. All right, all right, good. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use your webcam to record photos or video or to take photos or record videos for free in Ubuntu an easy way. And then I'm going to show you a couple other ways to do it in a future video. So the easy way is using a program called Cheese. And by default, it's just in here called Cheese. It was installed in Ubuntu 16.04 by default for me. If it was not for you, open up the Ubuntu Software Center and type in Cheese. Obviously called Cheese because it is a photo booth. Here you can uninstall it. Blah, 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 blah. Some say it didn't work in previous versions. Seems to work fine for me. The issue is, is every once in a while, your webcam will not actually work with Linux. There's some weird things that go play into that, but sometimes it just happens. So here's me on my webcam, on my laptop. I can take a photo. I can take a photo. Oh, this may be doing a video. Nope, it's taking a photo. It has the video icon, but that's how it takes a photo. So then you can double click to open it up. So we can take photos this way. Uh, three, two, it gives you time to smile. It's basically like photo booth on the Mac. You can take a video, which it doesn't give you a whole lot of settings for this, but you can take a video. This is a video test using the Ubuntu Cheese Software Center program. This is a test. Stop recording. And we can play it back. Uh, you won't have the sound. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to hear it. And then you can take a burst shot. Three, two, one. Oh, it took them like all at once. Oh, no. It's taking more. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, it's still going. <laughs> all right. And then you can also enable effects. There's lots of effects. Dice. Uh, you can actually get a preview of the effects here. Edge. Historical flip. Kung fu. I don't know what that does. Oh, it gets, it's motion blur. Mwave. Hulk. Turns into an incredible Hulk. And noir or blanc. Oh, there's more. Optical illusion. None of these seem to be working. But ripple, quark, saturation, warp, waveform. And that's it. So... And then, like I said, you can just browse through here to see the photos and videos you've already taken. Nice, cute little application. Much better, in my opinion, than Logitech webcam software. But hey, that's just me. And that's it. And then close it when you're done. Now, if you want to pull up Software Center, I'm sure there's a couple other programs for webcams. But honestly, there's not a whole lot. Like I said, webcam support on Ubuntu seems to be kind of iffy. Uh, there's Webcamoid. We'll give that one a try here. Enable via cam is a mouse replacement program that moves the pointer tracking to user head's movement. Let me know if you want a video on that. I'm not doing that right now. QR code. Uh, cam Merca. We'll try that. That looks to be the only two ones that are built into the default repositories here. We'll go ahead. We're installing Cam Merca. Let's open up Webcamoid. Oddly, they use the exact same icon. That's a little strange. My kitty moves, so I don't have to worry about running them over. Of course, I'm asking it to open while I'm installing a program, so it's not going to like me for that. That's okay, though. That is okay. That's what happens. Or maybe not. We'll give it a second here. I'm doing this live, so I can't really make any jump cuts or anything, but it is, you know... It is just a laptop. It does have an i5 in it and like 6 gigs of RAM. Actually, can we view system properties like a Mac or Windows PC? Can we like view information about the system? Yeah. Intel Core i5-3337U CPU. Four cores at 1.8 gigahertz. It's an Ivy Bridge mobile chip. 128 gig hard drive and 6 gigs of RAM. There we go. Yeah. Hey, it knows. All right. Comerca's now installed since the other one didn't. Okay. Here's Webcamoid. Laptop Integrated Webcam HD Preferences. Source. You can change the audio source, which is good. You get about 
2015. Uh, configure streams. It does not... Oh, it can capture the screen. Okay. It does not want to pick up my webcam. Oh. Okay, you have to play. Hello. Uh, go away, configure? <laughs> no. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. You can take a photo. Oh, and then ask you where to take it. Sure, let's save it to the... There. You can take a video. Oh, that was another photo. <laughs> yeah, record video. Save. This is a test video. Test, test. One, two, three. Test, test. One, two, three. And I will, put, I will upload these sample recordings up to my YouTube channel as unlisted and throw them in the playlist so you can check them out if you would like as well. I'm going to stop recording video now and then configure effects. ASCII art. <laughs> Aging. Black and white blur. Cartoon. Ah. Color matrix. Oh, that's boring. Color from palette. Convolve matrix. Delay grab. Whoa. Oh, hey, hey. HSL transform. Matrix transform. So basically, some of the same kind of stuff. Uh, Alright, it's freaking out. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. We'll try out that other one. So that was webcamoid. Close software center. Uh, yeah, Comerca. There we go. This is Comerca. So we can take a photo. Uh, oh, I missed. Uh, there we go. Automatically saved picture. Got a nice little Polaroid style. I like that. Self timer. And configure. Oh, and you can set the resolution. So what if I say 1280 by 720? No frame rate limit. Apply. Storage is okay. Alright, so this only takes pictures. Oh, and it does not like 16 by 9 aspect ratios. Uh, Alright, then if we pull up our pictures real quick, and then I'll end the video if you're still watching somehow. Watching me dick around with photo apps. Those are some of the pictures we took. Nothing exciting. Comerca. Oh, so it did take it in 16 by 9. Okay, cool. It just stretched it out in the preview. And then we have... Those are our wallpapers we set earlier. Here's our webcam. Where did it... Did it put the videos in the video folder? Hey! It did. Alright. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Smash the like button if you did. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos. Check the playlist link in the description and the YouTube card icon for more Ubuntu 16.04 related videos. I'll catch you in the next video. My name has been Adam Repos Vox. Thank you for sticking with me on Ubuntu Weekend here on Epos Vox Media. Bam!